So it was a pit lane start for Yelma Berman, really putting him under pressure. The Ford GT made an absolutely fantastic start. Milos Pavlovich on the inside, tried to get through. In the end, I think he was a bit too ambitious to try and get past Mike Parisi. There was a little bit of a nudge between them. This is where Alvaro Perende dived up the inside, took the lead of the race. And Monchi had that lead well effectively up until the point where Fred McEvicki took the lead away from that number one car, a number two car. It was all about Alvaro Perende. So we had some great racing action. We had um, the number eight car of Dino Lenardi and Mike Parisi also in the nine Porsche making their way through the field. Good move up into turn six from Steph Dusseldorp who drove from the back of the grid to second place by the time the pit stop windows came about. Also good moves from, well, an attempted good move anyway from Nicky Mayer Melnoff. Him, he not getting quite the best of Enzo Ede. McLaren trying to attack the Mercedes, but just took a little bit too much speed. Unfortunately, the Ford GT, we lost uh, towards the mid part of the race with um, some kind of mechanical problem. Hopefully that will be sorted for tomorrow. In the pit stops, Nicky Mayer Melnoff Got it. Oh, he is, he's the angry. Look at him. Look, he, he's the mildest mannered man. And there was a stall, we believe, lighter stall the engine. And Nicky Mayamanov, he was absolutely. Maybe that's his true character. Maybe everything else is a, is a disguise. So in, into uh, the first corner, there were a number of moves made. Peter Cox, once he took over in that Lamborghini, started to slice through the field. Tony Volander fancied to look up the inside into turn five, four. but that was four. Yeah. But that was never going to work in the end. And uh, there was the change around for the lead. Fred Makovicki taking the lead from Gregoire Demistier. Then Peter Cox managed to find his way past Mark Basseng. Daryl o. Young was fairly satisfied with third place. And then really, it all kicked off in the midfield. Seventh down to 11th, all battling hard. Ortelli almost taking out his teammate again. Well, this battle for a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth place was in fact uh, maybe the highlight of the race in terms of just sheer spectacle and entertainment. We had at one point here, we see it, three cars, the Audi on the outside, the BMW, the, the meat in the sandwich, and Philander and the Ferrari, and blue smoke was coming off the tyres from the BMW. And uh, But the winner of all this was Nata Mateus Lauda. But the winner of the race and, uh, well, there was still more battling to go on. A little bit of a, a love kiss in the back of the Ferrari. That allows Stefano Telly to get Pat past and uh, Ortelli would then have an attack and manage to get past the Ferrari up the inside into turn six. Good move from the Monegasque driver, but the McLaren took their first win in international motorsport. The Hexis Racing Team completing a one-two. They will start on the front row of the grid for tomorrow's championship race. You can join us for that at quarter to one. My name's Jack Nichols, John Watson alongside me, Haley Coxon in the pits. We'll see you tomorrow, quarter to one local time.